Welcome back to my channel Nail Divas. It is Fab Diva Franklin here and in this video I'm going to show you how I made this set of press on nails. I'm first starting out by taking the shine off of the press on nail with a mini buffer. I'm just going to repeat this step to all of the nails just as you would to your natural nail um, to make sure that the gel polish adheres properly to the press on nail. Now I'm just going to cleanse each of the nails off with a little bit of alcohol on a lint-free wipe. Make sure there's no residue or dust left on the nails before we get started applying the polish. So I'm using this um, gel paint color from Color Gel. Um, it is thicker, it's great for nail art, but this is um, the closest color that I had in my gel collection to what the customer wanted. So this is the color that I'll be using. I'm just going to use this brush that I got from Amazon. It was in a pack of three or four, and I love using them for just painting, gel polish, or using it with builder gel for application, different things like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and paint the first coat on each of the nails here, and then I'll repeat
So now that um, the second layer has fully cured, I am going to go ahead and put some alcohol on a lint-free wipe and remove the tacky layer off of each of the nails. Um, my hope was that this was going to help the striping tape stick or adhere to this nail better as I was um, mapping out the design. But as you will see, this striping tape gave me all of the problems. I did leave all of my real life struggle in this video so you guys could see my process and that things not, aren't necessarily super easy for me or for anybody else. Um, you just kind of have to work your way through it and figure out the best solution. But I do want to know if anybody has any tips or tricks with um, striping tape to get it to stick very well, please let me know. I did end up roughing up the sides a little bit with a buffer after a couple of nails just to see if that would help um, get the strapping tape to actually stick. That was my problem. It would not actually stick to the nail. So you guys let me know what you think, what things work for you, if you even use striping tape. Let me know in the comments below. I'm really interested to see what others do to get their tape to stick very well. So the matte top coat that I'm using is by Lavender Violets. Um, I got it off of Amazon. I'm 
we're just applying it on top of the striping tape. I'm gonna cure for a full minute just to make sure we get that nice flat matte finish. And I am gonna buff around some of the edges of um, some of the nails because the striping tape, since it wasn't well adhered, I had to make sure it was nice and smooth and make sure everything was squared away before I could say that the nails were diva fine. So here you see me using the buffer to kind of lightly buff around the edges of the nail and where the striping tape is going to be to see if that will help it adhere better, but it didn't. So I was back to square one, still struggling, made it work, but I thought this set was going to be a lot easier than it was. I think it turned out great, so I am pleased, but without hard work and practice, I guess you'll never know. Some of you are probably wondering why I even fooled with the striping tape to begin with, but um, my client sent me a picture of a specific look she wanted for her customized press-ons, and this was the best way to achieve that look. And I was not gonna tell her no, even though striping tape is not my most favorite thing, I will do it for my customers.
before each matte top coat, I did apply a coat of base gel just to make sure that the strapping tape could kind of stick into place before I topped it off with the matte top coat. So Nail Divas, here is the final look. A nice flat matte finish with these ballerina shoes style press-ons. They're shorties, but that is the way the client likes them. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share my video with others that you may know. Please DM me on Instagram if you would like your own set of custom press-ons. Thanks for watching.